Hi there ladies and gentlemen, this is Eastwood for Life fan and this is a video of my DVD, Blu-ray and 4K pickups for the month of February 2019. And before we get to the titles, first things first, I'd like to shout out a big shout out and welcome back to the YouTube community to a uh, guy that I used to uh, watch on YouTube and he was the very first movie collector and channel that I used to watch uh, all the time and back in the day he was known as uh, Orton Productions and he has returned after a few year layoff to the channel of Physical Media for Life and I will definitely say it's a channel worth checking out and his name Dan he definitely knows his his, uh, his stuff on movies and he's a very passionate collector so definitely check out his channel the link is down below you will not be disappointed so we'll start off with the DVDs first and a few movies from this uh, action icon star and I'm talking about Chuck Norris and this is a uh, movie I'm not too sure if I have seen or not and I had to pick this up from the US as it's not available on Blu-ray or DVD in the UK and this is Forced Vengeance a early 80s Chuck Norris movie and actually it's directed by James Fargo and he he actually directed uh, one of the uh, Dirty Harry movies with Clint Eastwood, The Enforcer, and also Every Which Way But Loose. So I'm not sure if I have seen this one or not. And some more Chuck Norris goodness. The last DVD. And this is Hellbound, a early 90s uh, Chuck Norris movie. And this one's actually directed by his uh, younger brother, Aaron Norris. And this one has a supernatural feel to this movie. And actually it was the very last movie made by Canon. Hellbound. Chuck Norris. On to the Blu-rays now. And I had to pick this next one from Australia. This is another Chuck Norris movie, Good Guys Wear Black. I did watch this movie the other the other day, and not a bad Chuck Norris movie for a late seventies Chuck Norris movie. And I think this was the uh, the very the second movie <coughs> where he was the main star, and Chuck Norris plays a former. Vietnam vet and him and his buddies they get given a secret mission where one or two of his buddies get killed off and then years later they try to cover up the uh, the secret mission only to have some of his uh, army buddies getting killed off and obviously Chuck Norris investigates but not a bad Chuck Norris movie thought I'd seen this one but I hadn't but it was far better than I thought good guys wear black and also in this movie the beautiful Anne Archer and this is the Australian version can pick this up in Germany also under the title of Black Tiger <coughs> this is a US released by Mill Creek and this is Silent Rage and Mill Creek have been selling these uh, slipcover retro versions of movies and this is Silent Rage a early 80s uh, Chuck Norris movie that I remember hiring this one out from my uh, local video store and this is a sci-fi horror movie this one and I actually can't remember much about it but I do like that little 
Note here, science created him. Now Chuck Norris must destroy him. And the slip cover. And there is the other cover. And you can pick these up for under £10 from the US. So definitely worth picking up if you're a Chuck Norris fan or check out the other Mill Creek releases. And the last Chuck Norris movie that I picked up from 101 Films from the UK. This is Firewalker, a J. Lee Thompson movie. And I also watched this the other week, kind of a uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark ripoff. And was a little bit disappointed in this one, as uh, J. Lee Thompson has done so many great movies with Charles Bronson, and also The Guns of Navarone and Happy Birthday to Me. But this one, they try to make this one funny with the combination of Chuck Norris and Lou Gossett Jr. But this movie fell well short for me, Firewalker. I haven't been picking up many spaghetti westerns of late, but this one was missing from the collection, as I do have the other three movies in the Stranger series, and this is Get Mean, starring Tony Anthony, and this is the last movie in the uh, Stranger series, nice release by Blue Underground, a US company that puts out great cult movies. And a shame, really, that the only movie from the Stranger series is the last one, Get Mean, is on Blu-ray. And definitely they need to release the first two movies, which were the best ones, if you like your spaghetti westerns. And the first one here, A Stranger in Town, was made in the late 60s, very entertaining and cool spaghetti western and also the return the stranger returns was another one even better than the original in my opinion this is the booklet in this blue underground release and the third one the silent stranger which i didn't really particularly enjoy but i do know that there is a japanese release of the first Stranger movie coming out fairly soon. It would be nice to see all the Stranger movies in a future box set. So maybe a company like Arrow Video could put that one out. Get Mean, not one of Tony Anthony's uh, better spaghetti westerns. In my opinion, the best one he did was Blind Man early 70s spaghetti western with Ringo Starr. The next stack of titles were movies that were sent to me by Blu-ray Ben in a competition that I recently won. It was his uh, 2000 subs contest and the winning prize I chose the Captain America box set of three of the the movies from the Captain America franchise. Definitely need to catch up with my Marvel movies and it has three of the movies. The First Avenger, The Winter Soldier and Civil War. So that was my winning prize. Nice Blu-ray box set of the Captain America movies. And also Ben chucked in some freebies which were greatly appreciated. He also added the first Iron Man movie with Robert Downey Jr. And this is the uh, Spanish release. Also Iron Man 2 which I haven't watched. I've seen the first one, and that was a pretty good Marvel movie. And 
Avengers Assemble containing Incredible Hulk, Thor, Iron Man and Captain America. And the last two that are added to that package are the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Starring Chris Pratt and Dave Batista, former WWE wrestler. And Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So I really need a, a couple of weekends of a uh, Marvel binge watch soon. The next six movies that I picked up are pickups from my uh, local CEX store. Always good to go in there and pick out some second-hand titles. And the first one is a movie that I really wanted to check out, and it's a uh, late 70s William Freakin movie starring Roy Scheider and William Freakin director responsible for The French Connection and The Exorcist and I've been told that this movie is a underrated uh, classic this one and do like my Roy Scheider movies and this is probably the last one I really needed to pick in this catalogue of uh, movies but guys if you have checked out this movie let us know if you have seen this movie and what I am in for so I don't know too much about it, other than the uh, director and the actor. And this is the 40th anniversary collector's edition of The Sorcerer. Next movie is a movie that I was really surprised that I actually never had in my collection, which I thought I did have. And I'm talking about Road to Perdition great gangster movie and I haven't seen this since it was released and I wouldn't mind picking up a nice a more nicer edition of this movie because it's a it's a great gangster movie set in the 1930s directed by Sam Mendes who made a couple of Bond movies in Skyfall and Spectra but great cast in this movie with Tom Hanks Paul Newman and Jude Law and actually this is, was one of the last Paul Newman acting roles that he made and I love the scenes between Tom Hanks and Paul Newman I think Paul Newman was probably in his late 70s when he took on the role in this movie but great gangster movie and I'd look forward to revisiting this uh, great one again Mel Gibson film that I've not really heard much about and this is Edge of Darkness starring Mel Gibson also starring British actor Ray Winston from the director of Casino Royale and I'm told that this one's based on a BBC series that I am not familiar with as I don't really watch that much uh, UK TV but pick this up for a pound or two in CX that was worth checking out as well as this movie safe house Denzel Washington movie this one as well I'm not too sure if I'd seen this one also starring Denzel Washington and Ryan Reynolds picked up Dexter the seventh season and one of my favorite TV shows Dexter loved the first six seasons even though the last two seasons were fairly average and that's the thing about some of these great US TV series they can go on a little bit too long but uh, there was a nice uh, box set with the, the slides with uh, holding all the discs but that's a little bit too expensive for me 
and I will be picking up a few seasons here and there so I do have one and two but for five pounds this is definitely worth picking up great TV series starring Michael C Hall as the serial killer in Dexter and my last movie that I picked up is Mandy which I bought in CX and I watched this one the other night very good movie and it's good to see Nicolas Cage back on form as this movie was released last year it came out of nowhere and it's actually directed by Panos Cosmatos and his father George Cosmatos was a director who made uh, Cobra and Rambo 2 and also Tombstone and this movie some people are either loving it or hating this movie and uh, I don't want to give too much away but it's be beautifully uh, shot with its uh, vibrant colors pink and purple and lots of red and also some scenes it's quite dark but very good uh, horror revenge movie and uh, like to know people's opinions on this movie and I wouldn't say it's a, a classic but definitely worth checking out and you could say it's a bit of a slow burner but great ending and a very cool movie to watch in Mandy this movie I had to pick up from the US couldn't wait to pick this one up as I almost picked this one up in the German release but I heard that this was coming out from the Warner Archives collection and this is uh, Year of the Dragon a 1980s uh, crime movie starring Mickey Rourke and this movie is actually my favourite Mickey Rourke movie where he plays a Manhattan police captain Stanley White and he declares war on the mobsters in Chinatown and I did check this one out to see what the transfer looked like and it was a lot better than I actually thought it was going to be but looking forward to revisiting this uh, movie Year of the Dragon with Mickey Rourke and actually Mickey Rourke in the 80s was was in high demand and they actually made him a lot more older looking in this movie with adding a few grey bits to making him look more of a uh, older character that he portrayed. A little bit similar to what Tom Cruise did in the movie Collateral but great movie in Year of the Dragon. Next two movies are 4K and Blu-ray collector set and this one is The Deer Hunter and actually was directed by the director who made Year of the Dragon in Michael Cimino and this is the uh, Studio Canal 40th Anniversary Edition it comes with four discs and what a set this one is and this is actually bigger than the uh, Carpenter Studio Canal sets which I was surprised and when I picked this up in my local HMV I didn't realize how thick this was but check out the features there for a masterpiece and I'll have to do an unboxing of this movie because it definitely deserves that fantastic cast in Robert De Niro Meryl Streep, John Cazell and also Christopher Walken who I thought stole the show, the show in this uh, great movie in The Deer Hunter and the last pickup is the uh, Prince of Darkness Studio Canal Collector set and it comes with the uh, poster, art cards, booklet and CD soundtrack 
and exactly the same sort of release as the other Carpenter movies. They Live, Escape from New York and The Fog. I can't wait to check this one out, starring Donald Pleasance. And all four of these releases would look good on the shelf. So guys, that is all the pickups for February 2019. So please check out Physical Media for Life, a real good guy and... Uh, no doubt you will sub to him great channel and a great collector and just say that carlos eastwood for life fan had sent you you guys will not be disappointed so guys till the next video take uh, stay healthy take care and as i always say movie fans keep on collecting